Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be the Witch Doctor Solo GR20 guide for Season 16, so let's get into it. Alrighty, for Season 16, the Witch Doctor is going to be starting with the Ericur set. So, you know, you're, you're probably going to have four pieces when you jump into doing your Solo GR20. It should be the last thing you do on the route to your Hadrig's Gift. There's a few general tips that I want you to read over down in the video description that I don't want to take the time to go over in every single one of these guides. But make sure and check that out if it's your first time watching a guide like this. So yeah, basically the set is summon a permanent spider queen that's going to leave webs that deal 4,000% weapon damage over 5 seconds and slow enemies. The spider queen will also go to where you cast your uh, corpse spiders, which is a generator for the witch doctor, but I don't even use a generator with this because it wasn't needed. The Witch Doctor is by far the easiest class to do the solo GR20 at the beginning of a season. I mean, the Witch Doctor can, like, speed farm these things. It, it, it's it's crazy. It's so easy with the Witch Doctor, so you're, you're going to crush it if you're on Witch Doctor. But I'm going to walk you through it anyway, just so you can have that extra confidence. The four-piece set is Hex gains the effect of Toad of Hugeness. After summoning a Toad of Hugeness, you gain 50% damage reduction and heal for 10% of your maximum life per second for 15 seconds. This is an awesome 4-piece set bonus for this because it's basically permanent. It says for 15 seconds and when we cast Hex, it's going to be up again in, 50, in, about, in less than 15 seconds. So it's basically a permanent buff for that 4-piece set. So... When you're playing, you just got to make sure and keep your hex, keep casting it basically on cooldown. Just cast it as soon as it comes off cooldown. Now, as far as the build, where obviously, I, we don't, I didn't even find that I needed a generator. Uh, I was just running through, blowing up the rift. So, um, I just put hex on my left click. And you, if you, if you do that, you are probably going to have to hit shift. Like, whatever your standstill is, you have to hit shift and then left click for it to activate. Our right click is where I usually put my mobility ability, which is Spirit Walk Jaunt. Then for my abilities here, I went with Summon Zombie Dogs, Rabbit Dogs. I'm just kind of doing like a pet build. I just want a bunch of stuff on the map, killing stuff for me. Gargantuan, Big Stinker, again, sticking with the poison theme. Soul Harvest, Soul the Waste. I went with the movement speed one because I didn't really need toughness or damage or anything. Haunt, Poison Spirit, this is really good because anything that you haunt is going to take 20% more damage from your attacks, which means your all your pets, your, your fetishes, gargantuan, zombie dogs, everything that you do to that enemy, is, it's basically a 20% damage buff, so really good to go with there on the haunt. If you, as far as passives, if you play softcore, you don't need to worry about using Spirit Vessel. You can replace this with something else, but I play hardcore, so I went with the Spirit Vessel Cheat Death. The Fetish Psycho Psychofence is an awesome passive for this uh, solo GR20 because you're going to be running around with 10 to 15 of these things that just swarm enemies and kill them. So basically, you want to be spamming Haunt, and then you have a 15% chance with every Haunt to summon a... A fetish so you're gonna end up with 10 or 15 of these things running around with you and they just swarm enemies and, and do a lot of damage for you confidence ritual it's basically a permanent 25% damage buff as long as you stay within 20 yards of what you're trying to kill so very strong and then pierce the veil is also very strong because we're not really worried about mana with this so you know we're not spamming anything like acid cloud or whatever so uh, you know we don't have to worry about mana so this is basically just a free uh, 20% damage buff far as gear when you're doing I you know when I do these videos I handicap myself so I just use the four piece set rares the level gems and stuff but um, what you want to kind of go for is like a two handed mace so a, a two hander that attacks slow so you can get that highest DPS value you want to be you know 32 3300 um, you want regen on your pieces like your pants and your belt and your chest armor because regen is really strong like kind of early in the season you can run around and let yourself heal so regen is a good stat to look for when you're doing stuff like this early season 
But yeah, now I'm gonna get into the part where I show myself actually clearing the rift, my first person view, so you can see how I just crush it and see how I play it. And as always, you know, when I do it, it's just gonna have the four piece set with nothing in the cube. We're not gonna use a follower, no legendary gems, no paragon, so I'm really handicapped and you'll see that I still crush it. So let's go ahead and move into that part. Alrighty, that's going to do it for this video on the solo GR20 guide for Witch Doctor in Season 16. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. As always, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Good luck Season 16. 
Peace.